today I'm here with another book haul. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book I'm really excited about because it's Joss from Scribbles Reads' favorite book and I've never found a copy of it and I finally found a copy of it, but it's Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay and all I know is that it's like a Jane Eyre retelling but she's a serial killer and you know your girl loves herself some serial killers so I'm here for it. I'm really excited to see Jane stab some people. The next book I have is called Frostblood by Ellie Blake and I don't know too too much about it other than it follows Frostbloods and Firebloods. The Firebloods have the ability to control fire, Frostbloods can control like ice and they're like pit against each other that kind of thing. So war, here for it, not here for it. War is bad, don't have war, but in fantasy books war is okay, okay? The next book I am really 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 excited about because it's by one of my favorite authors. I read every single one of her books. I have a bunch of them over there. I usually give them either 3.5 and up. So it's her newest one, When the Lights Go Out by Mary Kubica. And this follows a woman who's been caring for her mother who's been sick. Her mother ends up dying, so she decides that she's going to go back to school. When she files for help to pay for school, they come back saying that her social security number raised a red flag. She's very confused about this. As time goes on, she gets more and more tired and more and more confused and she can't tell what is real and what is fake anymore. So I'm guessing it has like a mental illness kind of spin to it, which you know, I love. And then it also follows somebody 20 years ago who s split decision causes this girl's life to be different than it would be if she hadn't made that decision. So I don't know if like maybe it's her mom or something. I don't know. We gonna see. I want somebody to die. The next book that I have, I love the cover. It's Red Riding Hood and it has two authors but I can't find like their actual names, but it's Blakely, Cartwright, and Johnson. I don't know their first names. It's not on here. But apparently it has an introduction by Katherine Hardwick because she's the director of Twilight and she made a movie of this book. So there you go. But I'm assuming it's just a Little Red Riding Hood retelling. I know that Little Red Riding Hood can talk to the wolf and she's the only one that can hear him. And the wolf is telling her that before the moon wanes, you have to sacrifice yourself or everybody you love dies. And I guess it's Red Riding Hood deciding whether or not she's gonna kill herself or not. I don't know, but apparently it's a movie so we're gonna read it and then maybe we'll watch the movie and compare but i really like the end pages too they're really cool so yeah and then the final book is a murder murder stabby stabby book so you know i'm here for it but it is the girl in the woods by camilla lackberg and it follows a community that had a girl go missing several years earlier she ended up being found and then it was discovered that she was murdered two teenage girls were blamed for this murder and then one of them returns several years later and she's now a famous actress and then another child goes missing from that exact same spot so they're like yo she's back is probably her let's investigate so this crime guy and his crime fighting wife decide to check it out and it's basically the story of that so children going missing we don't love that on this channel but also we do love it on this channel because it makes for a good story but not in real life all right guys so that was my quick little haul today let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them and i'll see you all in my next video goodbye